The Grand Hall of the Khanate had been filled to bursting with the Sultan's offerings. No price could be too great. The Khan could have taken the Sultan's throne had he asked it. Anything to unravel the secrets of the Khan's fabled coasters. The Diary of Marco Polo. The Lost Years. The story of the coaster begins like any tale of innovation, with a great deal of money. Let no table be left bare, nor any ring left behind. Genesis 50:27. With the rise of the Akkadian Empire came technological advancements that laid the very foundations of society. Pottery, agriculture, metallurgy. But none as significant as the tablecloth, precursor to our beloved coasters. The centuries soldiered on, and with the invention of the Silk Road, coasters would soon be found everywhere. Coasters are they're, they're really actually pretty fascinating for a couple of reasons. They're useful um, and ingenious um, and I'm pretty sure Jesus had one. Mesopotamian royalty, they would take large swaths of calf skin and they would drape it over their, their furniture to get rid of the, the, the water rigs. As trade began to progress, they would cut it into smaller and smaller pieces until you could fit a single cup on a piece of calf skin. Which is different from how we make coasters now. Uh, but really, essentially, it would be less of an individual coaster for an individual drink and more like a big, heavy, protective blanket you'd put over an entire piece of furniture you were intending to have a drink on, uh, as opposed to, say, a big, heavy, protective blanket you'd put over a person like I have at home. Simplicity in coasters is the ultimate sophistication. Leonardo da Vinci while the cup plate's impact on technology cannot be understated, the more impressive still is its profound influence on medieval and Renaissance art. A lot of the Renaissance uh, coasters that you see from that time are just fascinating. Historians suggest that the Holy Grail is actually the coaster beneath Jesus' cup. Well, it always comes back to Christ. That's why coasters start with the sea. Well, it's not a very popular thing since um, a lot of people like to try to focus more on themselves. Uh, the Lord has deigned the coaster as a holy property, and that's why our furniture must be clean like ourselves. The term grail uh, comes from the French sang real, royal blood, as in Jesus' blood. You know, like, because they say that the wine in the cup is his blood, but if Jesus, say, is sitting at his Seder uh, and cuts himself, he's not gonna wanna get that in his drink. But a coaster is nice for keeping uh, fluids, uh, like a beverage or uh, blood, from getting on the table. So really what makes more sense, and I know personally as a coaster manufacturer, hearing that a legendary thing like the Holy Grail might have actually been a coaster, made me feel very personally important, which is something I've always wanted. I was in a brothel in Paris. I had just laid with a beautiful woman named Rosemary. She was Catholic, but she was good. And I was drinking my wine. It was a port, 76. And she looked into my eyes and she said, Helmut, I don't speak any German, this is confusing. And I said, Rosemary, you don't need to speak German. I speak Rosemary. 
And as we went in for our second or third or fourth, I lose track round. She knocked over my wine onto the coaster, and the coaster it sang to me. It said, I am passion. I am love. I am wine. <sighs> I climax three times just from the coaster. Throughout my travels, I have seen men make pointless bids for control in a chaotic universe time and time again. But never have I seen one more perverse or unnatural than the coaster. Samuel Feathertree, Free Ringer. Sometimes I throw my arms up to the heavens and I decry the Lord. Why did she have me be born in the 80s and not in the 50s? So I could enjoy, you know, the free love movement and, and what is lesser known but just as important, the free ringer movement. Mm -hmm. They used to say, you know, if she has rings, she swings. <laughs> You would often uh, leave your, your beverage with the condensation dripping in sexuality, right? Right onto your table, and, 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 and it would leave that beautiful, wet, slick mark. And that mark was a, a, a beacon out into the universe that you were available. As the summer of love came to a close, the darkest corners of counterculture grew in the American West Coast. While most members of the aptly named Free Ringer movement restricted their protests to simple boycotts, more militant factions were known to stage public coaster burnings on busy streets. In response, pro-coaster advocates found creative ways to push back. I was in art school in Germany. This delightful little lady from down the street, she came over to my cottage. We live in cottages while we go to college in Germany. Talked about the color wheel and shades, 50 or so of them. And we made love on my rocking chair. We had no condoms. They had been requested by the uh, Soviet forces in our country. And so we took the only thing I had, which was a small cork coaster. And I crumpled it up folded it over the top of my schlongdufa and I had this woman and I still use that coaster still to this day yeah you unfold it dry it off it's still good and the memories it bears are just irreplaceable my critics and competitors have asked me about my legacy my legacy will be forged the same way as all great men do. With blood, sweat, and spirit. Richard Vanderhoven IV, Coaster Tycoon. Even today, the creation and distribution of coasters is a driving force in the world economy. I am the top artisanal seller of coasters in Texas, and I do have a certified degree in coaster history uh, uh, you can make coasters out of um, wood, um, cork, um, plastic, um, paper, um, other kinds of wood, really. There's multiple kinds of wood. You can use pine, balsa. It was made by two good human hands and a lot of the Lord's love. I once saw someone make a coaster out of a dried apple, actually. Uh, wasn't a very good coaster. I probably wouldn't. Um, you can make them out of fabric. Few things in human history have so demeaned the human spirit as cardboard beer mugs. I once saw an elaborate coaster fashioned out of a taxidermied muskrat with a little divot in its back. Um, that was a little ostentatious for my taste. 